So the Anime Mirai Project is Reborn, the initiative which funds half-hour anime shorts by promising young animators, will now be known as Anime Tamago, or Anime Egg. Hmm. Uh, it still falls under the Japanese government's Young Animator Training Project, which also announced the anime studios that will be partaking in 2016's program. They include Studio 4C, Tezuka Productions, Buemon, a CGI studio, and Signal MD, which is a subsidiary of a subsidiary of Production IG. The Anime Mirai project releases four half-hour anime shorts every year. Uh, among them in the past were Little Witch Academia and Death Billiards, to give you an idea of what they do. Hmm, that sounds like it should be fun. Yeah. Let's see, the Chinese Ministry of Culture has blacklisted 38 anime and manga properties. Mm -hmm disallowing any print or video distribution. The franchises include some uh, predictably violent or edgy fare, including Attack on, Attack on Titan, Terror in Resonance, Elf in Lied, and High School of the Dead, as well as the strange inclusion of Sword Art Online 2. That's weird. I didn't know that was a particularly edgy you know, I, I, I know. just watched mm. uh, episodes uh, 7 through uh, 10 last okay. night. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and conceptually, I think, mm -hmm. I, think, uh, I think they're involving not just the direct violence, but mm. the, con the concept. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, uh, behind I it. See. So, okay. Oh, fair enough. Then. But uh, yeah. that's the Chinese. <laughs> yeah. Their country, their rules. Yeah. Um, See here. And then uh, finally, for this week, uh, three major manga publishers have released numbers on their biggest manga print runs of the past year. Get ready. Kodansha published 2.7 million copies of Attack on Titan, just volume 13. Wow. Uh, followed by 800,000 copies of Seven Deadly Sins, volume 13, and 750,000 of Saint Young Men, volume 10. Have you heard of Saint Young Med? No. Oh, this is great. Um, Jesus and Buddha are frat buddies. Ha! <laughs> Uh, who who, cool. who live together and sort of bum around Tokyo. It's oh, man, fabulous. that's funny. <laughs> um, not to be outdone, Shueisha published 4 million copies of One Piece, Volume 76. Yes, there are 76 volumes of One Piece. 1.3 million copies of Naruto, Volume 72, and 900,000 copies of Terraformers 12. Shogakukan published 1.2 million copies of Silver Spoon 12, uh, 700,000 copies of Detective Conan, Volume 83, <laughs> And 670,000 copies of Yokai Watch Volume 4. Uh, and thanks to AnimeNewsNetwork.com for those links. Moving on to upcoming conventions. Uh, MetroCon is this weekend in Tampa, Florida, the Tampa Convention Center. Travis Willingham will be there, as well as Nolan North, Stephanie Shea, Robbie Damon, Laura Bailey, Erica, Men uh, Erica Mendez, excuse me. Kara, uh, I always forget this. Uh, Kara Karanen, is that how you pronounce it? I'm not uh, sure. That's how I pronounce it. And I don't know uh, if she does. <laughs> yep. And good old Scott McNeil, duo Maxwell in Gundam Wing. And Anime 2015 World Forum, The Hague, Netherlands. Yeah. Road trip, road yeah, trip. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anime Next is in the Garden State Exhibit Center in Somerset, New Jersey this weekend. Guests include voice actors Kira Buckland and Mike Tool and Todd Habercorn. Sushio, the character designer for Gurren Lagann, Panty and Stocking, and Die Buster. Oh, Hell wow. No. And Uncle Yo, the Uncle comedian. Yo. Yeah, pretty awesome. Shout out to Uncle Yo. Hey. OMG Con. OMG. Owensburg, Owensboro mm -hmm. Convention Center, Owensboro, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. uh, that's coming up on June 12th through 14th. And the voice actors are going to be Greg Ayers, mm -hmm. uh, Melissa Hutchinson, and Josh Grell. Very good. Um, I should also mention um, these are not exhaustive guest lists for any of these. Um, I but go and I pull. They'll it, include. <laughs> yeah, they, they, yeah, they will include all of these. To so, include, and, yeah. but not comprehensively. Right. I always feel bad when I list you know three things, but I'm like, we, well, oh, we he all left day. me out. Yeah. Why did you leave me out? <laughs> like, there's all those angry letters from our voice actors right? out there. <laughs> they left us out. <laughs> no. Um, Sawsome Con. Sawsome is uh, this weekend in uh, Kansas City, the holiday in Kansas City. Um, and uh, I guess in there will include Vic Mignogna, well-known yeah. voice actor, Jim Butcher, the author of the Dresden Files uh, urban fantasy series, John Mesplay, who is a visual effects uh, uh, person on Guardians of the Galaxy, nice. Flash, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and others. Wow. Yeah. L.A. Cosplay Con, yeah. June 13th in the Hyatt Regency... Uh, Hyatt Regency Century Plaza in mm -hmm. Los Angeles, California. Uh, the guests are going to include... 
Robert Axelrod, the actor, uh, Kyle Herbert, the voice actor, and Andre Meadows, the producer. Cool. That ought to be interesting. Yeah. Um, if you're in the Tennessee area, head over to MagmaCon at the Smoky Mountain Convention Center. Boy, does that sound like Tennessee. Smoky Mountains. <laughs> in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. That also sounds like Tennessee. Pigeon Forge. <laughs> this is where we make the pigeons. <laughs> we forge them. <laughs> right, next to pigeon, right next to Duck Forge and uh, Moose Forge. Um, we stamp include, them out. Yeah. <laughs> guests include Richard Epcar, voice actor, Paul St. Peter, and Ellen Stern, all voice actors. Hmm. Mimicon is going to happen on June 13th through 14th in Concertel... Well, wow. <laughs> this is Give you a tough one there. Concertialto, Mikale, Mikai, Finland. Now, if I mispronounce that, please send me an angry letter. <laughs> uh, but this con is going to be aimed at teens and young adults, and it's only going to be 20 euros at the door. So yeah. show up, take pictures, send them to us, let us know. Exactly. Um, and then Saskatoon Blitz is also this weekend in Saskatoon, Saskatoon. Canada. Yes. Saskatoon. Glory, that is Saskatoon. Canada. Oh, Canada. <laughs> Guests include Chuck Huber, the voice actor, singer Chi Sakurabi, voice actress Jad B. Saxton, and voice actor David Vincent. Hmm. Moving on to Kickstarters. So Animego's Kickstarter for Otaku no Video is already at $73,000 as of this recording. That's nearly double its goal with two weeks remaining. Good on them. A mere $25 US gets you the Blu-ray shipped anywhere in the world except Japan. Uh, the Kickstarter already reached its funding goal of $40,000 US. So head over to Kickstarter wow. and look for Otaku no Video. Cool. Yeah. Anime Monthly. Uh, the poor Anime Monthly Kickstarter is only at $3 out of the 2000 it wants to produce the monthly anime magazine. Mm. 10 days to go on that one. Oh, dear. Um, and uh, then... Um, I'll take this one. Uh, Inform Otaku is another Kickstarter to get more convention coverage. Mm. Kind of interesting. I like Unfortunately, that. it's asking for over $1,800 for a fan whose only credential is a five second video clip of a voice actress at a con. I would hope there might be some more footage. Has this person done any press? Not that I can Just tell. The five second clip. The five second mm. clip. The entire pitch. This is the entire Kickstarter page is. I can upload more videos from conventions like this one if I can get the funding to get proper equipment. I can understand that, yep. uh, which may be true, but uh, we all got to start somewhere. So I think <laughs> maybe a bootstrap operation mm -hmm. might be in place by, even though it's lower quality, posting mm -hmm. it and showing where that yeah. could be improved. Right. And I, I think um, giving a bit more information about your plans how you want to use the, the equipment, what, what equipment you want, stuff like that, that would help. Um, only $5 pledged so far, 33 days to go. That's Good Inform luck. Otaku. Exactly. Good luck. Uh, moving on to the anime releases coming out this week. Yay, new releases. Yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> starting with Discotech Media that released Serez Celestial Legend, the Complete Collection for $45 MSRP. These are all uh, manufactured suggested retail prices, so it'll be a lot cheaper online. Uh, and then the Mazinger Edition Z, the Impact Complete series. That's 26 episodes for $49.95 sub only. Nice. Yeah. Funimation has Hyperdimension Neptuna Complete Collection for $64.98. That's mm -hmm. a Blu-ray DVD combo. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's also a limited edition for uh, about five bucks more. <laughs> yep. Uh, Funimation also has uh, Oni Eye Complete Collection Blu-ray. And it's a save edition, mm -hmm. which... I, I really like those. Ah, great. I don't always get all the uh, bells and whistles, but I get to see the whole thing <laughs> at a reasonable price. And this one's a sub, and it's mm. only uh, $24.98. Nice. Uh, Funimation also has the Sacred Blacksmith, the complete collection. And that's also a save edition at $29.98. Good deal. Yeah. Uh, well, what's this next one here? Uh, Tubasto Reservoir Chronicle, which they'd love to capitalize and uncapitalize the letters there. Mm -hmm. uh, the Clamp Double Feature, save edition. Uh, it's only nine ninety eight, which is darn cheap. Hmm. Um, I believe that's the OVA, not the TV series. I have to dig into that because uh, I can't believe they're doing an entire twenty six episode series for ten bucks. Yeah, that would be beyond believable. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then uh, Sentai Filmworks is releasing Knights of Sidonia. This is a series that uh, showed up on Netflix. So if you didn't get a chance to get it on Netflix, you can now get it on a uh, Blu ray uh, or DVD. DVD is sixty bucks for season one. Blu-ray is a 70 bucks for season one, and then Blu-ray DVD combo pack collector's edition for about $100. 
also releasing Mardock Scram uh, Mardock Scramble the Trilogy. This is a series of um, mecha movies mm. on DVD for forty dollars and Blu-ray for fifty. Fifty bucks. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad for uh, quite a lot of content there. So that's all thanks to DVD the DVD Talk Forum for the anime releases of the week. Uh, Kickstarters are from Kickstarter and uh, conventions are from AnimeCons.com with ANN providing all of the uh, anime links. And that's the news that's from the around news. the world, down the street, and in your backyard. <laughs> Thank you all for watching.